finally i will be able to live my dream life it is a huge thing and still i am still processing with each day so hi guys welcome back to the channel and today i have a very special guest that's shazia ali um a very special friend of mine so congratulations on getting the best homeopathy college in india so that's the national institute of homeopathy thank you so much even i was in like you know i couldn't process all of it till like yesterday so absorbing this news was also a big deal for me yeah so now we will be discussing a few topics about your success journey uh, the first question to you is that in which round did you get the college so basically i had to start from the first round of course then the second round then the mop up round and then finally it was the stay vacancy round where i got a got an allotment so the thing was i was being like you know i was facing rejection a lot of times but finally whatever happened i got a seat so like what is this stay vacancy round so basically what happens is that like when a counseling starts it goes through the first round the second round and then the mop up round so the students who leave or do not go for allotment uh, the seats are left so that is after the first round it is uh, given to the second round and even after second round if some students do not appear for the allotment then it is uh, sent for the mop up round even after mop up round there are some seats left in case of deemed universities and central universities or national universities the college conducts their own counseling for the uh, for filling up the seats so that the uh, the seats do not remain vacant for the next 5 and a half years since if it remains vacant the college will be at a loss so where did you get these updates about the counseling see we have two bodies here for one is all india counseling that is for ayush courses that is double a triple c you need to stay updated with that and the other one is our state counseling so for the all india institutes and uh, all india quota seats or central universities you need to be uh, like regularly check double uh, a triple c website and there you'll get all the information regularly so like where did you get the updates for the stay vacancy round like which is not the, like after the mop up round as i said uh, counseling started late this year due to the ongoing pandemic so the first round was started in december and then the second round and then finally the mop up round but the stay vacancy round started around like you know uh, 17th feb i could say like they uh, like released a notice where it said that the a few seats were left in the national institute of homeopathy in kolkata or be it national institute of ayurveda in jaipur and so and so universities like very few seats were left but the colleges were responsible to fill their vacancies okay so like how difficult was it like preparing for neat as well as uh, waiting for the results of the counseling rounds so how difficult was it to manage both of them simultaneously yeah it was difficult mo- mostly i would say because largely because i would say is that after each rejection i would feel sad or i could say you might tend to be depressed or you know like this is not my cup of tea or i am not capable enough of getting a seat so every time you apply there there was a, a good chance that you could get a seat and you might not so you have to take in both the consequences and apply accordingly but in my like according to me i would suggest no matter what just apply for all the rounds because you have nothing to lose what i kept in mind while applying so yeah i used to feel sad all on and off and 2 3 days after the results and before the results were spoiled and eventually like you know preparation was being uh, hampered but i wa- i was keen on getting a seat this year so i had to take a chance so like how important it is for a neat aspirant to remain this much alert with the counseling round results see like it is really very important because at this point we wouldn't be spoon fed right so you need to keep a check on all the websites and for counseling especially notices come out on the official website so you must know and check regularly i remember checking every night like i remember uh, staying so alert and it is just not one counseling right you have to uh, like take part in state counseling all india counseling ayush counseling mbbs and bds counseling so you have to keep in mind the schedule and 
all of it each of it basically does not contain only one counseling round or like you know two it contains three or four so you have to be vigilant and systematic on how so as to how you would proceed like you need to uh, jot down the dates when we need to apply and when we need to upload the documents or register or the merit list will be out so we need to be very alert actually so like finally all the hard work like did pay off at last and you got this college national institute of homeopathy in kolkata which is considered the best in india yeah. and so like did you expect this college like what was in your mind during the stay vacancy round like what did you expect honestly it was not even in my wildest of dreams that i'll be getting a seat because i would say this was fully a uh, like you know luck factor here because when we applied for the like we had to apply offline and we didn't know how many students are going to appear for the stray vacancy round even when the merit list was out i had a like you know i had a student above me in my like category list so each category has their own seats like own seats means there's only one seat left because this is the stray vacancy round somehow they need to like you know fill in the vacancies so not many seats will be left and i would like to tell the viewers that no matter how many seats are left that is not that shouldn't be our lookout our lookout should be like we are doing our part and we are just applying for everything so i had this student so even in spite of knowing that i wouldn't be getting a seat because there are students above me and in my category as well i went for it because it was in my city so i didn't i had uh, like you know no reason to not go for it and basically i went for it and then i saw my name was in the waiting list on the, the freshly prepared merit list uh, which was based on the number of students gathered there so i knew i wasn't getting a seat but somehow luck struck and that student who was above me failed to produce the documents the college was lenient enough to give that boy a second chance but he wasn't serious enough or i could say he didn't want it so badly and in my case i i had all the documents possible like be it the bonds or the six affidavits or like right from the start so the teachers there as well said that there's the difference here like the one who got the chance didn't have documents and the girl who was next to like after him had all the documents so eventually she got the seat because she was so dedicated for it or you could say she was so eager or desperate to get a college or get that seat so even they appreciated this quality of being well informed or i would say well uh, well alert or i could say with proper with all the knowledge and all the like you know documents which were required that time so yeah so like how did you feel like when you actually like got the seat basically i was waiting there from 8 o'clock in the morning till 5 pm because they had to wait for the student above me to not return because they had to face the ayush government and say like why didn't they take that student and took me so i was on my toes right from the morning like i was nervous like anything i was just praying i just need this seat and i never thought because i was just looking at the door i was thinking now the student will come now any time soon that student might march in and i would like look the seat and even the teacher there said that if she doesn't get a seat today just imagine the mental trauma she will undergo because losing a seat so close is like you're waiting for hours like from the morning till evening and without eating or going anywhere so yeah after that when finally they said okay fine we will no longer wait for the student we'll take your admission and i was just looking at that sir's face like anything he started laughing like he was literally rolling with laughter because he knew what i was going through and i had no reaction like uh, then the medical test was done admission was done even then like when i informed my parents i was getting a seat and all they reacted but i was like taken aback i didn't know how to react because i wasn't well uh, equipped with success i could say like after so many rejections your body doesn't know how to react to success now so yeah two three days i was in a like you know what just happened with me like finally i will be able to live my dream life it is a huge thing and still i am still processing with each day so yeah so wow like congratulations once again on that college like Thank i really you. wish you have a great start and uh, like best of luck for tomorrow like Thank everyone you so much. tomorrow is going to be uh, going to be her first day in college so yeah 
that's all i guess that's a lot of discussion like hoping for a lot more collaboration thanks a lot for coming here sharing your experience thanks for watching so if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel